We're really excited that Hall of Fame weekend is underway. We had our first fake football on Thursday night under the lights. So the Hall of Fame game moving to Thursday night for the first time ever between the Cowboys and the Cardinals and all of the Hall of Famers being introduced, being interviewed on NBC. It was a real nice kickoff to their party. And Canton, Ohio, is where we find our guest. Eric Coleman is a former NFL safety, played for multiple teams over his nine-year career, and is now an analyst with SNY, Pac-12 Networks, as well as CBS Sports Network, just joining our family as a college football analyst. And uh, Eric, it's great to catch up with you, especially from Canton, where the Hall of Fame induction is going on this weekend. What is the atmosphere like getting set for this year's induction? Well, you know, this is my first time in Canton. And, you know, it, it's great because the, the city just embraces the Hall of Fame, all the festivities, you know, the, the everyone in the town. You know, there, there's Hall of Fame signs everywhere. Um, you know, you see all the, the gold jackets walking at the NFL Alumni Association. And, you know, our, our motto is caring for kids and caring for our own. And, and one of the things that we do to take care of our own is uh, we, we donate money to the NFL Player Care Foundation, and we do health screenings around the country for former players. Uh, you know, they can come in for free, get, uh, get their heart checked, get their prostate exams, and get a, just a, a gamut of, of different tests. At one place, it's free. It takes them about three hours. So today, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers, all the Pittsburgh legends came down. They took a bus from Pittsburgh. Uh, they, we did the screening uh, with Tulane Medical. And tomorrow, we are testing all the Hall of Famers. So they, they get to get screened, make sure everybody's healthy, and uh, and really just you know make sure that they have all their, all, all everything taken care of for, for the longevity of their life. It certainly feels like the climate around the NFL has changed when it comes to quality of life and long-term health. But why is this important to you, Eric? Well, you know what? It's important to me because, you know, especially taking care of the former players because these are the the men that that laid down the foundation to to allow players like myself and guys who are playing currently to, to have all the luxuries and all the amenities that we have today. You know, there wouldn't be free agency. There wouldn't be all these nice venues. We wouldn't have the great retirement benefits if it weren't for the, the former players fighting for them. So uh, I think it's my duty to, to, to take on that fight, help them out, and, and support them throughout their lives so they can live healthy and, and happy lives after football. Over the last five years, the NFL and players in the NFL have gotten a lot more serious about concussions and brain injuries, and CTE, and how that can affect you down the road. When you compare it to the time that you spent in the NFL, how different is the atmosphere around the league when it comes to that particular aspect of health? Well, you know, I, I, was, I was one of the players that was able to play through both eras. You know, when, when I first got in the league, it, it was crazy how, you know, you would see guys get knocked out. They would go back in the game, um, you know, and it was kind of like a, a tough man competition. You know, like, I, I don't want to go out of the game. I'm okay. I can see straight. I'm going to go out there and help my team. But as we progressed and, and as we got more knowledge of, of what damage is actually being done to our bodies and oh, the term effects, I think everyone got educated. And, and now you see – you know, teammates, they're looking out for each other. You know, if you see a guy get, get his bell rung, get, get rattled, your, your, your teammates are trying to get you out of the game because they care about you, and they care about your long-term health. So it's no longer that macho, uh, bravo, you know, that the, the, the tough man contest when it comes to blows to the head. And I think guys are more conscious of it. And the NFL is doing a lot, a lot of great things to protect the players. You know, the technology and the helmets is getting better. Um, they're having the, the doctors on the sidelines that have nothing to do with the teams. Uh, they're, they're monitoring the players. So I think they're taking great strides and, and really trying to protect the players and protect the game of football. Well, it certainly helps that the science is continuing to advance and we're finding out more and more about concussions and about head injuries and the long-term effects. We're spending a couple of minutes with Eric Coleman, who's a former NFL safety and is in Canton for Hall of Fame weekend. It's After Hours with Amy Lawrence on CBS Sports Radio. So what do you remember about this time of the year from when you played? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this was the, the training camp. 
you know, the, the first two weeks, you know, we always used to say, if you can make it through the first 10 days, then you'll be okay. You know, because, you know, when you first get there, you know, you're, you're, everyone's nervous and everyone's running around as fast as they can. And then the, the, the soreness sets in and then the fatigue sets in and you're tired of seeing your teammates, you're tired of hitting your teammates, and you really just want to play against someone else. So, you know, by the time that first preseason game comes, everyone's excited. They're ready to play against somebody else and, and show the world what they have to offer. Well, we as fans are looking forward to that too, Eric, I have to say. Uh, one of the things that always becomes uber important at this time of the year is getting through camp healthy. Uh, so the Ravens have already lost seven guys to season-ending injuries. This time last year, the Vikings were about to lose Teddy Bridgewater for the season and beyond because of his knee injury. Uh, Ryan Tannehill went down on Thursday in practice. How much attention is paid to just getting through camp unscathed and healthy? <laughs> that's one of the, you know, that's, I, I remember, um, you know, later in my career, you had your, your training camp goals. And the, the first goal for a lot of the coaches was to make it through camp healthy. You know, it, it, it's, it's, training camp has changed so much. It used to be a time to get the players in, in shape for the season. Now everyone works so hard in the off season that you're just really trying to, to take your playbook even further. You know, trying to, to um, push your offense to the limits and, and install a lot more different you know, different elements to your game because you have to be versatile to win in this in the NFL nowadays. So uh, it, it's really sad to see players go down with these injuries nowadays, uh, especially in the, in the beginning of training camp. And, and I think part of it is due to the fact that players are just working too hard in the off season. You know, everyone wants to be in the best shape possible for training camp, and they're not allowing themselves to rest. And so when it's time to, to put your body through the gamut of, of training camp, sometimes it can't hold up. Eric Coleman is a former NFL safety spending the weekend in Canton for the Hall of Fame festivities. It's After Hours with Amy Lawrence on CBS Sports Radio. I know that you do a lot of analysis and you cover the New York Jets, which is one of your former teams. And typically in training camp, everyone's excited. Fans are looking forward to this blank slate and starting over. And there's a lot of hope. But with the Jets, they're really young and doesn't seem to be that same kind of anticipation. So as you look at the team, at least where they are now. What do you see? What do you think? Well, you know, it, it's, it's always a tough time. You know, every year, you know, you look at the, the AFC and NFC championship games, and there are four elite quarterbacks. And with the Jets not having that elite quarterback, it, it's kind of a, a frustrating thing for fans. You know, uh, you know, they, they, they did draft um, Hackenberg with a second-round pick, and I think the fans want to see him play. And he's not really get he hasn't really gotten a shot last season. He didn't play until the end, and uh, you know fans are kind of frustrated. Now, now with the Jets, I think there is there is some excitement because they have so much talent on the defensive side of things. You know, drafting Jamal Adams, uh, Leonard Williams is emerging as one of the the better defensive linemen in the league, and you know they, there's there's a lot of talent over there on the defensive side of the ball, but offensively. It's just uh, you, you can't win without a quarterback. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of anxiety about the season. Some people think they should tank. I don't think that will ever happen with any team uh, in the NFL. But, you know, the, the Jets are going to – I think they're going to win about five games this year just off of effort. Mm. Well, thinking about it, sometimes – just effort, sheer effort can make up for what's missing in, in talent or experience. Uh, the Jets obviously are in the AFC East, which has been dominated by the Patriots for a very long time. Tom Brady turned 40 years old on Thursday, which is insane. Uh, but Eric, when I say 40-year-old quarterback, what springs to your mind? <laughs> well, I mean, in the past, it would be, it, it would be uh, an opportunity for me as a defensive back to, to jump some routes. So, you know, when you see an older quarterback, you don't respect their deep ball. You know, you, wanna, you know that they don't have the arm strength to get the ball down the field. But Tom Brady is just breaking the mold. You know, he, he just continues to, to get his body in shape. He can still make every throw. And he's still, you know, one of the best, you know, the top two quarterbacks playing the game right now. You know, I think all time wise, I would put Tom Brady as my number one quarterback. But right now in the game, you know, with him being 40 years old, he, Aaron Rodgers, uh, you know, these guys are playing at an elite level. And, and Tom Brady is just, just 
dominating it, and I'm tired of seeing it. You know, I was a guy. I was a guy who got his butt kicked by Tom Brady in the AFC East when I played for the Jets, and you know, he it was frustrating to see how good he was, and and he just really continued to do it. And it's just a credit to him and Bill Belichick and that whole organization. Isn't there some part of you, though, Eric, that thinks, how is this even possible? You played a decade in the NFL, and that is three times as long as the average career of a player. Here's Tom Brady, who maybe looks better than he ever has, continues to play at the highest level at 40 years old. I mean, that's crazy. (laughs) It is crazy, but I mean, if you watch a game, you watch Tom Brady drop back in the pocket, and it's like, you know, we used to call him the Iron Deer. He, he drops back in the pocket. He doesn't move from his place, and he just delivers the ball. And, and if you're just back there playing catch, you can do that until you're 50 years old. So uh, the, the Patriots do a great job of protecting him with their scheme, ball out quick, and their offensive line. And, you know, that, that chemistry they've had up front has been uh, a very vital part of his, of his health as well. So, you know, Tom Brady, you know, he, he's famous for his nutrition. He takes care of his body well. And uh, just a, just a, the true professional, one of the greats of the game. Sure will be a major storyline going into the season to see whether or not Tom Brady can maintain the level of play that, that we've been expecting now. We've seen for 20 years. Uh, Eric Coleman is a former safety in the NFL, including with the New York Jets. And he's the newest member of the CBS Sports Network family. He's just joining the team as a college football analyst. So congratulations for that. Uh, you can find him on Twitter, at Eric Coleman. You can see him on CBS Sports Network. Look forward to catching up with you again, Eric. Thanks so much for your time. I would love to, and thanks for having me.